days after Itanagar administration directed hotels and restaurants in the district to remove the word beef from their sign boards, a backlash was seen on social media by locals who claimed that this was the first move towards a beef ban in the state. On Thursday, the order to remove the word beef from the signboards came out but netizens took to Facebook and Twitter claiming that this was a step to test the sentiments of the people on the issue. Bizaram registered 119 COVID-19 cases with a single-day positivity rate of 20.24% in the last 24 hours, taking the state's tally to 2,30,348. No new deaths due to COVID-19 was reported during the same period and the death toll stood at 706. However, the number of fresh COVID-19 cases reported in the last 24 hours has increased by 14 against the total cases reported on the previous day, according to a state health official. Assam floods continue to improve as till Thursday the state witnessed no new deaths while the number of people affected declined to 228,545. As per the latest data by Assam State Disaster Management Authority, the number of districts affected declined to six including Chahar, Chairang, Dimahaso, Golaghat, Murigao and Tamulpur. Of the total 2.28 lakh people, 1,34,487 are from the Chacha district, while Morigaon follows with 92,853. Despite the relentless search operation by teams, for the 15th day, seven persons missing after the tragic landslide in Manipur's Noni district still remains untraceable. No mortal remains were recovered from the debris on two consecutive days and seven persons are still missing from the tragic landslide incident, Noni Deputy Commissioner Hone Lal Gunait said on Thursday. So far, the death toll from the landslide incident that struck a railway construction camp on June 29th has reached 54. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.